Oh my gosh, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Mary at Miss... Oh, I'm dropping candles. Mary at Mystic Whispers of Wisdom Tarot. I miss you guys. I've been doing so many private readings. I just can't stop. And I'm caught up. A few scheduled, but I just feel it is time to do my Libra video for the 10 days, 20th through the 31st. That's actually, we have a little bit of today left. So I'm clearing all my cards and my energy from past readings with a Palo Santo stick from South America. It so smells so good. We have a little candle. I had some beautiful private readings today. So I wanna thank all my subscribers. I send you all love and light. And anyone who's watching, I hope this message resonates with you and brings you some peace in your heart to know that you're valued and loved by your angels and spirit guides. And this is a message for you, my dear Libras. And I am dedicating this one to my Libra niece, Shannon, who just came out of surgery. Well, it's been a little while. My first Libra video didn't, was too blurry. So this one's looking good. Got my new table here, sending Shannon love and light and crystal balance healing to her and to all my beautiful Libras. Aren't we excited about the rest of the month? It's looking fabulous. I'm sure a lot of you have gone through some healing, had some fun as well with friends, made some magical memories happen. I know you've had a lot of luck in your sign. Friendship is in your house. You're energetic, you're optimistic. Venus is there bringing you beauty, partnership, your marriage relationships are looking good. So, well, yeah. See the two ladies enjoying. This is for my Shannon and her wife. Love, never ending, giving and receiving, emotional fulfillment, trusting. And then what is going on? Somebody around us is holding their heart, holding their money, and feeling wounded. We'll find out about that. So this can be a mixed bag. It can be vice versa, right? If you're thinking about somebody that, that maybe has ghosted you, that's not talking to you, kind of holding on. You may even live with this person and they may not be uh, talking to you. <laughs> But maybe because you've been out and having fun and they might be a little jealous. Hmm. But your ruler is Venus and it's all about luxury and beauty. So you do, like I'm thinking of Shannon, she's also a designer. You love to maybe redo the house. Maybe you've been, you know what, sometimes I think of that poor four pinnacle guy gets a bad rap when in actuality, let me put these here so you can see it. I got a new table. When in actuality, you know, maybe he's saving for some luxuries that he wants to, you know, redo the house. Maybe that's all it is. And you're defending your, your stance on that situation with the nine of wands. Like, look, I've been through it. I deserve this. And you absolutely do, my beautiful Libras. You absolutely do. You've really come through it. You've had a tower moment with all those eclipses and Mercury retrograde. Whew, better days ahead, my friends. Okay, what's coming in for our beautiful Libras for August 20th through the 31st? Spirit guides, holy Spirit, Isis, manifesting Venus. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> What's coming forward? Your soulmate, true love. Te telepathy is the word that comes to mind. Isn't that funny? It's kind of an oxymoron. Telepathy comes to mind. You guys, his crown chakras are opening up. We have the chariot card. I see her looking over there at those two. She's about to take off, but she's pausing. She's trying to um, figure out which way to go. She's got the two sphinx there at her beck and call. And see all that purple. She is a divine priestess. She is a magical manifester. She is Isis. 
sitting on that chariot deciding hmm what sh kind of experiences do I want to have come into my life because your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused on the road ahead hold on to the reins but hold on loosely because if you know my divine high priestess anything is that you receive the downloads and the directions to go when you're vibing high and you're staying in that love partnership comes in for you you deserve it when you work it you manifest love into your life and abundance and enriching experiences i mean isn't that one of the good affirmations i am always divinely guided towards enriching experiences i am always divinely guided towards enriching experiences and if you are the magician the counterpart of the high priestess the tools are right there in front of us these days you guys i mean i remember in the 80s trying to figure out what was going on and i dated a man older than me another soulmate still love him still love him and uh he told me and i was a divorced single mom 25 26 27 at that time yeah and he said you know mary you create your reality from within and I was raised Mormon, and I'm like, no, you have to pray to God, and he's going to bring it down. No, Mary, you're in control of your destiny and how it will show up by your intentions and creative visualization. I said, what are you talking about? We didn't have Guy M. TV and Oprah. But you're going to do some research online on your own. Everything's out there for you. The secret soulmate secret you want to manifest love there it is there's the tools manifest the love of your life with the law of attraction and if you're in a marriage or in a relationship where you want to turn that person into a soulmate you have the tools you're the magician you're the high priestess you're the manifester venus is on your side right now i mean you are receiving downloads and understanding from Where's my Venus, my darling? I can't find my Venus card. Oh, oh she's hiding behind Odin. <laughs> I got, you know, I have to call on these angels for when I do private readings, I take it very seriously. I want to get the best information from your spirit guides. So we're calling in your spirit guides, my dear Libras. And they're saying the truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Have positive affirmations and gratitude before you go to bed. Don't count your sorrows, count your blessings. And in the morning, everything will, you know, the sun will be shining. You'll have a clear understanding of which direction you're going to go. Have love and peace in your heart. This is beautiful, you guys. Can we stop there? I don't even want to pull a romance angel card. No. What else is coming forward for our Libras? Spirit guides, angels, and... Spirit guides of the collective Libra come forward to help them with the messages they need from their higher selves to move forward on their path to joy, happiness, and being there now. I know people say that they hate that thing, fake it till you make it. Sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. <laughs> I've been around the block, you gotta fake it till you make it. And then when you smile, because maybe there's something going on, but just smile. It's Leo season. You're going to attract a water sign. King of Cups. You know, coming in. Could be a father figure giving you advice. Like, okay, I know you're going on that trip. You got money in your shoe. <laughs> you got a copy of your passport in your bag, in your, pa in your suitcase. You got da 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 are you sure? Did you set your clock for Paris time? Let's go to Paris. I love Paris. It's always a good idea. Always, always, always a good idea. I don't know. Been there nine, ten times. Never get bored. It's just so, so magical. 
but you have, you know, but some, sometimes you get on the wrong metro and you get a little pickpocket and you get your money back because I got let nobody push me around. Uh, <laughs> but go within, rewrite the script of your life, take the time out. It's going to happen for you anyway. I know you guys are social creatures and want to be out, but everything's coming into alignment for you. And I'm not an astrologer. Go watch the astrology. This is just some spirit, got spiritual guidance from Mary's Mystic Whispers of Wisdom Tarot. But by the 30th, with this new moon, you're going to go within and create the art within so that it can manifest on the outside. You're going to recoup. You're going to rest. You're going to have some silence. And then you gain the wisdom when you come out of the cave, shine the light that others also need to, from you. We all need you, Libra. Keep us balanced and correct. We know you've been through the battles for us. That's okay. You deserve all the beauty and luxury that you may even be buying a new car, taking a trip. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about who's coming forward for Libra and Love, for my singles and ghosted ones. Who's coming forward in love for my Libras? Whoever you want, that Two of Cups, who is that? How will we recognize him? Where is he? I had one girl to reading. Okay, where is he? <laughs> what time am I going to meet him? <laughs> what bar? What city? What does he look like? And I gave her a lot of really good advice. I just laugh because you know what? I've been there. I get it. Where is he? Why isn't he showing up? Because you have to raise your vibration to show up. So maybe you need to put down some of those wands and get off your high horse. You know, seven of wands is always feeling that you're above other people and, you know, you're protecting yourself and that's fine. We always have to stand up for ourselves, but... Remember, only love is real, and you can't have love and hate at the same time. You can't have road rage and listen to, you know, <laughs> I don't know, love songs at the same time. We are the people. All right, who's coming forward for our beautiful neighbors in love? Who is this king of cups? Who's the divine feminine, divine masculine? What is it they need to know on their journey towards love? What is it that they need to know on their journey towards love? Please, spirit guides, give us the best messages of our divine Libras. Oh, I miss doing videos for YouTube. Oh, look at that. There's our vision. It flipped over and I didn't even see it. One of my favorite cards lately. You know how I retire decks and um, do with the last shuffle. <laughs> And last time the Two of Cups came out, the Ace of Cups, uh, the Empress, and the Lovers. And I was like, what? That's like the perfect love reading right there. And I was told to put them in this deck to reconfirm because I may, mainly do love readings. And if you want one till the end of the month, they're only $17 regarding your person. Four questions, 17 cards, emailed with descriptions, Mystic Wisdom Tarot at Gmail. That's why I'm so busy. And it takes me a half an hour to do these or more. Some of you guys, I can't stop shuffling. What's your vision? The ship that's coming in, that's got your king of cups on it, that's going to bring you the ten of cups, the emotional fulfillment. Are you going to manifest what that is? Take a look. Re Reevaluate where what you want to show up, what you want to go towards, what kind of enriching experiences in love. Are we going to renew our love or are we going to go find some new love that's going to bring us that ten of cups, that king of cups, queen of cups, go within and reevaluate, come out with the light, shine your light. And guess what? Universe is just going to have your back. I've been around the block, kids. For my 60th, I am going to ply the carmen with my twin flame. Maybe. <laughs> if he uh, doesn't come, I'm fine. Uh, see, you have to be 
okay with whatever is. Love yourself enough to stand up for yourself. That's what that is. Stand up for yourself, the Seven of Wands, and know that you're valued, that they need to come to you. When you're raising your vibration and you're high, you don't take crumbs. You don't need crumbs. You love yourself enough. Oh, it's so good when you love yourself enough and can just enjoy your own company. And you're going to have to do that at the end of this month and come into balance. What else is happening for Libra? August 20th through the 31st. What's coming in for a beautiful Libra's August the 31st? What's coming in for a Libra? Thank you, Spirit Guide. Thank you, Spirit Guide. What's coming in? Clarify the Two of Cups, right? Clarify the Two of Cups. Because partnership is partnership. Two of Cups could also mean a partnership. Any kind of ship. Friendship, relationship, children, business partnership. Because I see that really close with the Two of Pentacles. Balancing life, money, um... A new vision for yourself. It's coming forward for Libra when they do have this vision. Tell us more about this. Who is this Two of Cups person that they're coming into partnership with? That's just too many. Too many, too many. But I see the last two are the ones that need to come out. Leo and the Empress. We're in Leo season. Go out. Be vulnerable. Be playful. Be the Venus. It's in your sign. You know, it's your ruler. She's driving this train to wherever she wants to go. She has the courage and the strength to look up. To look up into the stars and know that she can tame the beast within and without. She's got this because she knows spirit has her back. Call on your angels and your guides to be Always with you, Archangel Michael. Trust in heaven. Oop, got to put these guys back. Stand in your power, my empresses and my emperors. Call in the empress. Oh, come out of that broken heart to true love. Oh, you guys have to let go of the past broken hearts to get to the true gold. Ooh, right? Constantly have to blow out the cobwebs. Clear out the cobwebs. Use crystals. Selenite's good. We clear out the old past relationships from Libra. We ask their permission from their spirit guides. Let it go, let it go, let it go. We want to only bring in high vibration and love, love, love. Divine love. Only divine love. My Venus okay where's my where's my guys king of cups the empress i think that's a good combination or the empresses <laughs> emperors i love you all i do all kinds of readings it's all love women women men 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 to women women to men Everybody wants to know about love. It's the highest vibration in the universe, you guys. That's why it gets to us. We seek it. We want it. But guess what? It's within you. It's within you. And when you have peace in your heart, you can feel that kundalini rising. Have that new experience all over again. I'm going to get you guys a mermaid card. You guys deserve a mermaid oracle. I can't wait to go swim with the mermaids and dolphins and play the Carmen for my 60th. <laughs> Was I just talking about yearning? And <laughs> Look at that. The lovers and the yearning. Longing for someone. Undesired separation. Pining. Undesired separation and pining. What was I saying? We love love. We want that reciprocation. But we have to vibe high and maybe play a little hard to get. 
Why do French women never sleep alone? They know how to make chocolate souffle. No, no, no. They, they don't date. They go on walks. They take a walk. They go to a park. They go to a museum. They have dinner parties so they can see how they are with their friends. It's more casual, not like an interview. Don't be like, tell me you love me. Tell me. No. God, back off. Go do your own thing. Be interesting. Be more interested than interesting, but get interesting. Okay, read a book. You know, look, I was just reading this book, Beautiful Runes. That's a picture of my goddaughter and myself. Beautiful runes. Anything can become beautiful even after it's been ruined. <laughs> and look at this place in the um, Cinque Terre. I've been here, hiked along the trail. The Cinque Terre is the five villages. And it's right on the Mediterranean. And this is Manarola. And I was staying in Valanza. And I remember jumping in here and going swimming. Yes, you can manifest that too. So what is the water flight? Speaking of water, heaviness lifts. Burdens are cast away. Weightlessness. Go swim in the ocean. Float. Let the universe help guide you in the direction that you're supposed to go. Let's get a romance angel card because I know you want one. I'm going to make my own soon. I promise. So look at that. The lovers, the empress, the two of cups, the ten of cups. A lot of beautiful cards for you guys. And let's see what comes out in the romance angel department make an effort great love is worth taking steps you're guided to take what was i saying right take the steps you're guided to take go within where's my vision there it is three of wands create a vision make that choice magical manifesting you know my divine goddesses how to make this happen. My divine gods, emperors and empresses, the king of cups, right? Make that effort. Great love is worth taking the steps. You have it all within you, my divine Venus goddesses. Something about water got to get get out there even if it's just a shower and releasing the x from the past so that you can claim the new energy that you truly do desire <gasps> i love you guys thank you so much for joining me and liking and subscribing and sharing every reading is always a little bit different and um if you want to know about how to get in touch with me the link below mysticwisdomtarot at gmail.com ciao bella <laughs>